All right, so here's my 1985 Honda 250 Big Red. What I got here is some shock boots. I actually got these off Rocky Mountain ATV. They're Daystar, the 58-inch black. Um, it's going to replace these shitty boots I have on here, these big, huge red ones. You can see these ones are more the correct size. I don't know how good they're going to look after they're done, but these ones are so big it just totally ripped these ones off. Alright, for the fender, there was two bolts. 10 millimeter bolt underneath here and then one up front there. Just through there and there. Drops the fender down. I don't know if you can pull it out. I don't want to mess it up. I don't think I'm going to have to. So then you have these two 14 millimeter bolts on each side of the fork and I think that's what will drop the fork out. But Alright, so got these four bolts out, that's what holds the shocks in. Then what you need to do is take a screwdriver, put it in here, and actually spread these out some. And here and there. Not too much, don't do it too much because you don't want to oversize it. And I splayed some uh, PB Blaster up in here. This one came loose pretty easy where I could twist it. This one was kind of more of a it was kind of hung up. So what I did is I took my rubber mallet, down it on here some, and actually I come down to right here. Pound on that, you can see it's making it come out. So it's just going to be a little bit more pounding. This side is pounding a little bit right here. And it's definitely coming. They're almost out. Okay, a little pounding. Got them out. So yeah, it's just these two bolts here. Slides these bad boys out. And you pull the shock covers off. See, this one's just absolutely shredded. This side seems to be the worst. Cut that off. And this side should just slide completely off. So these forks are in pretty good shape. This is just PB Blaster, I think, that got on there. But yeah, actually wasn't too bad. A lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Alright, here we go. Here's the new shock boots. Zip tie up here, zip tie down there. Check out the tire clearance. Shouldn't. There's actually more space on the right side than the left side, but the left side still isn't bad. Shouldn't rub at all. It actually really wasn't that bad. Just gotta put the fender back on now. Looks a hell of a lot better. I just put on new fork boots. I had these big red ugly ones on there before. These are actually the Daystar fork boots, the 58 inch ones. They're like $17.99 on Rocky Mountain ATV and they actually fit really good. Um, let's see, put on two gun racks on the front. Got my Remington 870 on there. Um, fits the guns real well. I had them up on the handlebars but I didn't really like it. And